So we uh, are obviously uh, drenched in a whole lot of questions, and it feels, you know, unstable. Uh, but I have some answers to some questions, and there's just one that is sort of foremost on my mind, and I think it's the obvious place, I'm guessing, that if there are people tuning in here today uh, because they're interested in what's going on around us, I think it's the obvious place. So uh, Ron, the animal doctor, is with us, and um, I just I, I want to know, like, can I still name that hippo after myself like what is it going to cost me if at the zoo at miami i want to just get a hippo that has dan lebitard as its name like uh, or is that has that ship sailed like is that well, done? Man, yeah, yeah, well here's the deal dan you know yes that that hippo's been named i mean you know somebody paid some big bucks they they named that hippo and it's kind of an adult hippo now but you know depending on the extent of your commitment I could always put Mr. and Mrs. Hippo back together, and, you know, uh, who knows what comes out. We can, and we could certainly name that one, Dan. Uh, or if you're looking for something a little bigger, I know that, you know, sometimes this, uh, this COVID thing has kept you inside eating a lot more. We've got a couple of elephants. Maybe we can go with them. I feel like that's uh, unnecessary. I, like I, don't yeah. want a, I don't want an elephant. I want, I, <laughs> I want just a hippo, preferably a baby hippo that I could uh, see grow uh, to life. Like, is this legal? Is this something we can do? Because I think the last time... Yeah. Yes. No, no, it is. It certainly is, Dan. It certainly is. You know, I, I get with the hippo keepers and say, listen, God, you know, let's put these hippos back together. Let's get another baby out. Let's name that baby Dan Levitard. Let's make sure that baby comes out as a male, so it is a Dan Levitard. And, uh, and and I'm sure we can make that happen, Dan. You've got a huge movement across the country. It could be one of the most famous pygmy hippos on the face of the planet. Do you have a snake you can name after me, or? I got a I got a frog to name after you. Stugatz. <laughs> a frog? Stugatz gets I want a no frog. part of the frog. Like, what, I, what, I call the cops on a frog, Ron. You know that. I what mean. is what is this going to cost us? Like if we if what is the animal that uh, should be named after Stugatz? You guys don't have rats, right? You don't have. Uh, it, it, do you have snakes? You don't have. That'd be a weird do, display. Uh, the rat do you, display. Do you, yeah, do you do snakes? <laughs> of course we have snakes. And we could certainly name a snake after Stugat. Thank you. Okay, very good. My lawyers will be in touch with your lawyers. Uh, I just discovered that I have a lot of lawyers. That is not something I knew before. Uh, we will uh, we will talk to you, Ron. Uh, appreciate uh, uh, appreciate all the greatness. And I I do I'm going to get a hippo named after me um, if it kills me. I, I, and I'm going to make sure that happens, my friend. I'm all right. Sure yes. All right. Thank you, the Ron. The big news of the day. Whoa. Yes. On a Friday, we're off yes, and running, baby. Uh, Friday off and running. This is the way that you start a radio show right here. <laughs>